And we are back. For more blues, Abu D, Abu Dai. I'm blue. Abu D, Abu Dai. Abu so, D, Abu Dai. They added Blue Mage into 14. I mean, mm-hmm. it's been there for a while, but that's literally like they they're doing like as every 10 levels it finishes a phrase of that. So the first time it's like Abu. And then you hit six Abu D. <laughs> so Ooh, like what? Like it's, yeah, because you know it's you, in the game. Like it's, that, in, or? it's like yeah, because you know fourteen how they were like notorious for having like references to yeah, everything, memes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So for the blue mage, when you hit level fifty, it's like a blue, and then like when you hit level six, it goes Abu D. Oh, was like, like your, a, like a, your achievement title? I was gonna say okay, yeah, that's the achievement title then, <laughs> that's right? The achievement okay. title that, that you makes get. sense. That's I'm funny. Just, it's, it's, so it's like, okay, Abu Dai, like, what are they going to do? Are they just going to repeat it when you hit, like, eventually 90? <laughs> I, uh, I have that CD somewhere because I had a friend who brought it over and we listened it? to it and then left it and then left school. You remember, you go up the waterfall. <clears throat> yeah. Whee! Yeah, that song was pervasive. I don't remember what anything uh-huh. else they did. It's kind of like my friend Jeremy uh, when he was young. Uh, okay. Hooked on a feeling came out, yeah. and he's like, "I remember that song," and then I remember listening to everything else by the band. It was trash. <laughs> so, Jeez. <laughs> so I never got into that. It's like, yeah, that song was really cool. That was Black Eyed Peas, right? No, for, remember from Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, that big song that like from the trailer that they use in all oh, of it. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Hooked on the, a feeling. Uh, no, it's uh. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think it's hooked on a feeling. God, what is it called? No, it's uh, hooked on a feeling. See, you literally just said it. No. no, no. <laughs> I've got what a feeling. What the fuck am I doing here? Yeah. Um, I'm a block. Oh, there you go. There we go. Um, oh, I see. This is going to be a very no, you, shapely you said, week. You said, I've got a feeling, and that's... Uh, that's I thought I said, hooked you said on I've a feeling. Got, you said, I've got a feeling, and No, that's... I said, hooked on a feeling, and you said, I've got a... Guys, let us know in the I've... video comments who said what, because now I can't remember. I've got a feeling is Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, that's got a Black Eyed Peas, but I thought I said, right? hooked on a feeling. Pretty sure you said, I've got a feeling, and then I was like, no. I don't know. But yeah, hooked on the, a feeling. The tape will tell. The tape will tell. Call me out if I <laughs> if I said I'm pretty sure I said hooked on a feeling first, but maybe I didn't. I'm known oh, for doing Oh, oh, we're doing Celeste Ooh, now. I was about to say <laughs> I, I couldn't even remember the game. I was like, what is this mechanic? Woo! What is this Mahonic that we need to master? Wee! I've got a feeling. Oh. Now you said it. I think you're <laughs> nope. doing it you're nope. doing it on purpose now. <laughs> nope. Definitely not. <laughs> Oh, I still got all my balls following me. You do. I wonder where I gotta. Oh, I gotta like turn them in or whatever at the astrological stuff. Can I? How hmm. high can I go? Oh, up, 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 up. Oh. I was like, I don't have any control anymore. Did they find the egg? They did it. <laughs> mine, 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 mine. That's the best part about Finding Nemo. The one part I can still watch without just going kill me now. <laughs> What, Con- did I did I just like absolutely path- fuck up and miss everything? No, I think you finished the path for it. No, I think the path comes all the way down and then I end up traversing it. No. Where the hell I, am I? I think now you can climb up the stairs and you can get all the way up there. This is really pretty. Uh, let's see. I didn't see a section that would get me high enough to to touch it. I think the stairs will allow you now to get up there. Um um Huh. Hmm. I think those are those are each of the levels is what I'm seeing. Yeah. I wish it would give me the color. Not that we're gonna go back and, and grab them all, but um No, no we're not. I uh I don't, don't think there's extras in this game, honestly. Well I think there's there's different collectibles. Is there? Yeah, because those are the those are the big circle ones that some of them I I couldn't get and some of them I couldn't figure oh. out right away. Uh that's why they're your... not all the way filled out. Cause this is we've been here before, so I wonder if it wraps yeah. back around so we eventually get this. Well, these stairs weren't here before, so yeah. maybe now it does lead me. Cause maybe. that was just a dead end right there before we went into the blue world or whatever. Man, I had a train of thought as we we're oh, going through oh, here, but oh, now I forgot. Oh, what? I feel oh. like yellow is oh. gonna be the oh, next color. revealing light or gold. Uh well, cause we, we had red, green, blue. Yeah. It, it'll be yellow. It's actually kind of reminding me of the dryad piece that I did a while back. 
Uh, yeah. I'm loving it. Where, where is it at? Where is it at, bud? Where are we going? I was like, I'm trying to compare this to some. It's like, I'm not trying to compare me to them. But I was like, oh, yeah. I did something similar with, like, this color theory stuff. Because it's such a fun color palette to work with. Mm-hmm. Um, Why would they add two there? I love pastel colors. I like getting Whee! really dark with colors, but I also just really like doing it. Like it's, I've got this weird dichotomy of, I love Mike Mignola stuff and Hellboy and really deep blacks and all this other stuff. And then on the polar opposite end, I love like really light fluffy colors too. Just got variety. Yeah. My biggest strength and weakness. Golden butters. Oh, 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 oh okay, 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 okay. Okay, so they pop you they up like way super pop me. They're super poppy. They're okay. smackers. They're... <laughs> Delicious butterflies. Mm, I miss cereal. Well, oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, so they reveal light, too. I love that. Oh, love that's scary. That. That's great. Oh, oh. That's oh, so oh. good. Oh, but I think you need to traverse it while it's still there so you can get those red butterflies. But now they're going to be gone. Well, I'd, I'd have to fall down and get them, yeah. I think so, yeah. But then... <laughs> can I get to the yellow? I think so. There we go. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll jump on these guys. I just wasn't sure where they were gonna take me, so I was like, uh, I don't want to risk it. No, yeah, I get it. Like, yeah, it's, I wanted like... to. I want to get an idea of my surroundings at first. Wee! There we go. God, this game is pretty. Yeah, it is. I like these. Uh, what are these lotus flowers? See, these are the collectibles. Yeah, it, it, but. It's so smartly designed, too, because they're just circles, but they're circles within circles, but they give that still look of, like, a lotus petal or... Yeah. Like the, God, uh... that's smart. <gasps> nice. Like the, uh... I don't know what kind of patterns or symbolage it, it is It is after. Like, uh, like, chi or something? I see it a lot yeah. in, uh... Um, like you were saying, it has, like, a lot of astrological, like... Mm-hmm. Oh, reminding, I need, I need like... these guys. A lot of, um... Like we said, Alphonse Hoo Mucha, um, and just a lot of that simple art. It also reminds me of Arabic art as well, too. Uh, a lot of Arabic art is a lot of numbers and and, and patterns. Numbers based and patterns and, like and yeah. flat shapes and stuff. Ooh, not gonna make it. <laughs> God, yeah. Um, I can't wait to see how the finale of this game looks. Like, I'm I am super impressed oh, oh, by how this game looks. Yeah, it looks incredible. Ooh. And drop it. <laughs> but yeah, Wait, I, mean, I don't think I meant to do that. I think that's just also why. I don't why, think I meant to do that. God dang it. I think that's why so more often it kind of goes back to the 2D and 3D argument. It's not that 3D isn't uh, amazing in its own right. It is like technically mm -hmm. 3D is so incredibly difficult to do to do anything. <laughs> but you almost um, said do do. Yeah, almost, almost. Um. But um, for the most part, like it's it's way easier just to make 2D no, games. I guess that was it more distinct because it's just easier to play with the rules and bend them. Yeah. Um, and it well, takes... it's also able to make it a lot more, like, yeah. stark and contrasty. And yeah, too, the true. And now? there's also, but, I mean, there's plenty of examples of 2D animation, as we said, with Johnny Test and others. Mm -hmm. it's just like, bleh. But it takes movies like Into the Spider-Verse, which I can't wait to see where 3D animation goes after Into the Spider-Verse. I don't think everyone's going to yeah. take that level of approach. But I felt like the Lego movie, Into the Spider-Verse, are don't. two movies from, like, this decade and, like, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs in oh, terms yeah. of, like... Oh, yeah, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is In incredible. terms of movies that really pushed what you could do with 3D animation, I felt like those movies are definitely at the top of this last decade. I'm pretty sure Cloudy was, like, 2010. Huh. I don't think it was before that. I'm gonna double-check that. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think say, I saw Cloudy with my sisters, and we adored the movie. I went with you to see that. I think. Um, I know I saw it with my sisters. You might have. I think I tagged along for that. Did you go along with us? I think I did, because I know I saw at least one movie with you and your sisters. Oh. And I'm pretty sure it was Cloudy, because I think you're like, "Hey, I got to take my sisters to Cloudy. You want to come?" I was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I don't remember what year it was, but th I want to say it's it was it's been ten years. Yeah. God, this music. Let's see. 2009. So it was yeah, it's been almost. Years. It was just just on the cusp of the oh, decade not, of 2010s. Oh. But like in terms of like influential 3D films, I can't really think of anything else. Like you might, you might 3D? be able to argue. Yeah, you might be able to argue Moana, but it's pretty par for the course. Like it does some really amazing things with water. I love the movie Moana, but it, uh, uh, the Good Dinosaur. 
Yeah. <laughs> the bad movie, but the good uh, artistic effects. Yeah, no, you could definitely argue that. That movie... It's not even like a. It's not a terrible movie. It's no, just, it's just like. Uh, it's just. It's kind of. It's just okay. Like, there's nothing about it where you're like, this movie's unwatchable. You're like, you watch no, it like. Definitely not. That was nice, but it, it was like it's a technical powerhouse, and it pushed the medium really far into what they could do. Water with it. looked incredible. The water and the mountains and the way they could yeah. render. Um, I've talked to people that worked on that movie, and it is. It's kind of crazy. Um, I want to do a shout out, but I don't know if they want to be shouted out. Mm, so like, don't do it then. I, I'm, I'm gonna hold it off, but. Wait, did I not get it? Hearing a- the work that they did, especially in the tools and the programmers, like that had to make the tools for the animators to use to create that stuff, mm-hmm. it was a monumental task. Like, I bet. Um, uh, to people in programming often kind of get oversh- overlooked a lot in like the animation industry. Um, and it's a bit of a bummer because they're artists in their own right. To like write the code and write the tools that animators are able to use in 3D, like they deserve just as much credit. Oh, God damn it. I needed to hit those, but uh, flip it out real fast. Yeah, I uh, I heard that the Sonic movie animators or something, didn't their studio get shut down or something like that? So, you know... I didn't follow it too much. But. Tyson Hess, I believe it is, who... He's incredible. I remember finding him on DeviantArt. God. Back in, like, 2009, I was just like, who is this guy? He is so good with his form. Yeah. And he's gotten better over the years, and I've just always continued to follow his work. Um, he's done, like, the Sonic comics, but he's the one who's done a bunch of the animated shorts. Hmm. Um, he's done a lot of the animation for those little huh? Sonic Mania well, stuff. He, He's incredible. He is so freaking good. He has he's he has the quintessential... He's the quintessential essential Sonic designer in my mind. No one's done Sonic better. <laughs> Just the way the attitude that he gives him is perfect. It's charming, but insincere without being over the top. He nails it. He just, he understands Sonic better than the guys that have been making Sonic games for the last, like, 20 years. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, it can't be that bad. They're still making money, so they can still make more. They, they still are, but... They should just put Tyson Hess in charge of story and just <laughs> like, let him do it. Like he's been doing the Sonic comics for a while too. He has been writing them, but he's been uh, he's he's heavily involved. But he basically what I'm getting at is yeah. uh, he was the one who came in and did like the redesigns because he's been doing Sonic for a long time and doing a lot of stuff with Sega. He was big on Sonic Mania. He did the animation and in, animated intro with the studio, but he did the designs and did a bunch of layouts mm-hmm. and boards and stuff for that. I believe. Yeah. Um, and he animated the newest. If you've seen the Sonic holiday thing, it was like a team of him and six I, people. I did not see that one. And he did the rough animations for it, and then someone else cleaned it up, I believe he said, which I didn't even know he animated. I knew he drew. But the fact that he animates now is like, he's just cheating. Whoa. That's cool. My brain. My brain loves it. I love Whoa. that. <laughs> um, and there was a lot of people that were saying, like, for that stew that, you know, blah, 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 some random ass fan site was saying like well we heard crunch and like the guy who was directing involved was like no man there was no crunch like we, yeah, we worked I thought on that it was, directly I thought that was confirmed that they didn't yeah. have a whole lot animated up until the point of and I have a yeah they did from what I've heard too and I had an art buddy who knows people that worked on it who has done VFX stuff as well and said yeah I talked to friends that worked on it like there was no crunch <laughs> um, and they were trying to like throw Tyson Hess under the bus and like stuff nope. like that but it is unfortunate one the of the studio studio's branches down, yeah. did get shut down. But unfortunately, that's just part of VFX, and it sucks, and it shouldn't be that way. But oh, VFX... Did I VF- fucking fall all the way down? There's it? always work for VFX, but VFX studios get treated like shit by Hollywood. Um, the people that made Life of Pi... Yeah, um, I heard, whether, yeah, they yeah, got treated bad, too. Whether you like how that... Whether you like that movie or not, you can't argue that the effects were crazy good because they were. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was like, do I have to be at the top or bottom? And there's like a certain height that you have to yeah. jump. Oh, but the, that you studio I think filed stuff. for bankruptcy right after that movie, <clears throat> and I don't think they're around anymore. Maybe it was just like a stri- strategical. That's what I heard. It was. And it was only thing. one branch of the VFX house, but it, it's still lame, and it happens all the time. Twitter just now makes it more prevalent for stories like that to get out, whereas before that stuff would kind of get hidden. Yeah. Um, but it, it's always kind of been the case. 
Dang it. And I hate to be cynical about it, but I, people in the VFX industry know it too. Like, it's bullshit, but. Yeah. It happens. Well, they had sucky. I hope that all those people that are part of that get somewhere else. The one thing that's really weird now that we're talking about kind of like that stuff is Telltale's making a new no. wolf among us. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. So I had to do a lot of research on that because I was like, I really liked Wolf Among Us 1. But I was also really pissed off at the way that Telltale handled mm -hmm. the way their studio closed. Like, if it's the same asshole that's in, was in charge that screwed over his entire workforce, I don't want to support this shit. I don't yeah. care how much I want no, the Wolf I, Among I Us. Um, but apparently, he's not involved, the guy that's got the company in the straits that it was. Okay. It's former Telltale staff that worked on it, but it's not the guy that was in charge. And so that sounds decent, at least. It's then. A, it, like, apparently, damn some, it. Damn some it. Damn company... Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Some company bought oh. up the rights to own Telltale's name and uh -huh. their IPs, which is why we've seen a bunch of the games resurfacing, like Batman Ye and whatnot on the yeah, store. Yeah, and uh, what is the... What is the zombie one? Uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead, yeah. Um, and it's a new studio that's Telltale, but now I think it's in SoCal now. Wait a and second. It's Wasn't there another made up of people here? that worked on the first Wolf Among Us. So part of me is like, okay, I, I don't... I kind of want to support this. I kind of don't. And I, I still want to research more because some former Telltale people are like, well, don't support them at all. And like other people are like, yeah, but it's former Telltale people that are working on it, and they're not the ones that caused the company that old CEO is gone. Hmm. So, I, I'm interested to see where it goes. It's not something we'll play on the channel. No. Point and click games, they're just, they don't really work. Um, For us. <laughs> I think they would work okay on Twitch if it was a puzzle thing, but not ones that are heavily story based like The Wolf Among Us. I, I see. I didn't play the original, so I'm like, It's got eh. a lot of choices. I think those games would be fun with an audience on Twitch where you can make decisions. Mm hmm um, and have them, but like the voting would have to be really quick because like they have like a timer for a lot of those no, the decisions. Voting has to, voting on a yeah. Twitch has to be a minute. Oh, okay. Like some yeah, of those are you can't under. even you can't even speed them up. Oh, so like that wouldn't work. Yeah, that wouldn't work. It'd be after like you have to type it in chat. It's like okay, I saw four of those. We're choosing that one. Yep. Um, and I think that could be fun. Nope. But don't, yeah, don't down, like as down, a let's play, down. they're too slow paced. Dang it. There was a. There would look like there was a hidden one over that way. Like, I think Pyre would have been more fun if we had done that on Twitch at the time. Mm, it probably maybe. still would have been a slog, but I think that might have been a more enjoyable experience with other people to share our misery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of fun for, like, just voice acting it yeah. and being, being goobers and stuff. But No, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed Pyre, but... It's one of those games that overstayed its welcome. Kind of like stacking. I felt like stacking overstayed its welcome. Stacking. It was a game by Double Fine. Um, I think Double Fine runs it. Something into... we played? No, no. I played on my own back oh, in like 2014. Oh, I was like, I didn't play a game called Stacking. No, we never played Stacking on the channel. I'd already beaten it like in 2012 or 2013 yeah, okay, whenever it came that out. That makes sense then. But I was playing through the game on my own. And I was just like, when is this game going to be over? I love <laughs> its art direction, but my God. This game has gone on too long, and I felt no. Damn it. As much as I love Double Fine because they are so unafraid of trying new art directions, mm -hmm. they don't have a house style, which yeah. in writing, in writing, but they don't really in terms of art direction. Like all of their games look distinctly different. Yeah, um, but that's the. I mean, there's no problem with that though, because I mean, like think about it. Devolver has that. No, Devolver is, but Devolver is also not a studio. Devolver is a publisher. No. Oh, okay. So they yeah. hi, they publish yeah. other studios' works. Ooh. Um, that's true. I didn't think about that. Dang it! I thought that was the one that we can get to the left. I I saw it, but I didn't uh, see how we'd get to it. Uh, There's the one we can go to the right though. Right. Grab it. Um. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right about that. I didn't think about that. That said, Devolver is easily the publisher of the decade. You know. I love their. Dave. I love them. I don't think we've played a single game of theirs and not liked it. Some are a little hit and miss, but when they miss, they're still charming. Yeah, they, there's still something appealing about it. I think Devolver's selection of who they're going to publish and who they're going to do, and also I don't, I've never heard anyone speak bad about Devolver either. Plus, I, their Twitter is great. I have, but yeah. 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 Well, there's always going to be some people that. Yeah, like, exactly. There's and always Devolver be... kind of claps back with them and stuff like that. Yeah, it's funny. Who? <laughs> Is there nope that doesn't light anything up i guess i just gotta go straight up from here 
Whee! Yeah. It, what's really going to be interesting and in see if uh, certain like EA's like for a while there back when like Dead Space One was coming out and whatnot, they were kind of turning a corner and doing a little bit better, and then they've kind of went back to their old ways again. I'm <laughs> I'm interested to see see um, how, where are they go in this next decade again. Like, is it gonna? Are they gonna have like a little mini resurgence? So nope. for like five they're gonna, years, they're gonna might, keep sucking. They're <laughs> gonna might keep get sucking. Like, we might get like a dead space New Year's Edge just for a little bit, and then they'll go. <sighs> they killed back dead to space. Being... That's so. That's so annoying. I know. Because dead yeah. space, I liked a lot. I know a lot of people did. It, it's a bummer. Um, that's what I mean. Like, are we gonna get like a little era of like five years of good games, and then EA <laughs> will go back into like their shitty hole again, where you're like, all right, I'll play this one. Like I heard. <laughs> Oh man, they're ma they're making another new Mass Effect. I'm like, no, you fucked up twice. Like you don't you don't get to make another one. Like I'm sorry, I'm done, I'm gone. I mean, that's not always the case. Think that's about always, uh, that's not always. Think the case. about like uh, who's been fucking up all the Disney games? Is that that's been God, EA? Is it been EA? I can't remember they, who they gave the it to. They're the ones in charge of the Star Wars license. Yeah, well, I mean. I mean, they keep being allowed to fuck things up. So. I've heard Fallen Order is great. I heard the new one is good. Yeah. Yeah, and th that's more respawn than EA because yeah. they're just lucky that respawn was just like, hey, we need a new studio because fuck Activision. So let's just go. <laughs> let's go with the other one. Um, What's oh, a wall here? There we go. Wee. But yeah, uh, I want to play Fallen Order. I just don't, I don't want to spend sixty bucks. Yeah. Uh, Danielle and, just got it for. Oop. Just got it for uh, her husband. Nice. Um, so I'm sure we'll get to hear how good it is or how crazy it is, yeah. things like that. It's not that it's not worth sixty dollars. It's just that I've bought. God dang it! Come on. I paid for Luigi, Pokemon, and Link's Awakening. Oh, oh geez. So I'm a little tapped out this year. Like that's 180 bucks. That's how I get to for that For channel one. games, I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Winter sale though. Winter sale's going on. It's 25 percent off. That's why I'm, I'm like, shit. There's so much on sale right now that I want to pick up for the channel. The the problem too with it is I've had Uncharted 4 for two years. I have mm -hmm. a couple of PS4 games I've never finished. So I'm like, before I buy Jedi Fallen Order, I should go play Uncharted 4. <laughs> you should. Before I... Whoa. Before I do that, That's like, pretty. I should do this. Like, yeah. what am I doing? I get you. I get you. There's a bunch of stuff that I've been wanting to play. Hold B. Hell, maybe I'll just put oh. Metal Gear Solid 5 as my game oh. that I'm going to try and stream. <laughs> Metal Fucking Gear Solid 5? Jesus. <laughs> That'll be my streamy. <laughs> That's a cool power-up. I don't understand what it does. It just makes stuff bloom? It'll probably affect things. I don't know where I got to go now. In the environment? Try to Grow! No? No. Oh. oh, it illuminated that, but I don't know well, if that's that already illuminated over. Uh, previously. God, that's pretty. It's so pretty. A calm game. Just incredibly calm. Yeah. That one will bloom. There we go. Oh, I actually think these other ones will bloom too. Nice. Not that I really need them, but I think I can. Yeah, they bloom. Tight. So it's like the ones without color. Oh, wait. Oh, I missed one. But there yeah, it, it's just so weird being in this era of like. Seeing 2D games, going to 3D games, then VR is actually a thing, and like indie game revolution, mm -hmm. it is a great time to be a gamer. There are so many options. Hell yeah. <clears throat> it's a water flower. Nice. Uh, Give me those water. Ladies. I see. So I was seeing sections of the game area that I wasn't able to access yet. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how can I get over there? They put it over there for a reason. It has to be there for a thing. <laughs> why else would it be there? It's a video game. That's how video games work. I am very confused about why I why it would want me to go down now. Maybe I just gotta flood the area. Probably. To raise the water level. Yeah, keep on moving over. These are the all lives. like lilies and stuff. Oh, maybe not. Mm. These are all lilies and stuff. Um, maybe they're all water-based plants. Maybe. Can you crush anything? Oh, go um, in the... I'm just going to go just straight down. Yeah, just I just, go. Before I fell, I was like, I can't go back up, so let me make sure I can... This game yep. is very much on a path, so I think... Well, there's the extra stuff that no, it the, lets no, you get to. Is. Oh, I can't get up and there. And I'm not saying that's in a, ba in a bad way. I'm just saying 
I feel like they're they've been really smart so far that like they're mm-hmm. if you're stuck somewhere, you're not gonna get stuck. There's a no, reason. I don't you're think, there. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you'll get stuck for any, much of anything in this game. Um, we got golden golden boys. Ooh, it's a bird. That's like the first thing we've seen that's alive. What? The bird that's chilling out over there. Oh, they, we've already had them. Have we? Yeah. I did not see yeah. them. They showed up on either side of me when uh, I got the power up. I mean, oh yeah. Oh, I guess I wasn't looking. I think I was looking at my phone. And for there's like a these year little day. guys that were hanging out too. The little, uh, they look like uh, cockatoos. Chris, Christmas socks. What are they? Uh, Christmas socks. Stockings. They look like stockings. <laughs> Sure. That's they what look, they look like. I guess they do. I, I, I'm saying sure, and it's like, yeah, I guess they kind of do. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. It was so pretty. It's Block jam. Can I sing here? No? Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. This is great. I usually don't like upside down puzzles and this things like that. This is a like great that. holiday gift for me. Thank you, Grinning Gamer. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome, dude. This is like chock full of inspiration. Like, ooh, I just want to do Art Deco stuff and super chill, super chill, super flat artwork all of a sudden. But yet with still like highly detailed like characters on top of it. Mm -hmm. It reminds me kind of like UPA stuff from the 1960s. UPA? UPA was a uh, studio um, from the 1960s. They did a lot of flat artwork. They kind of like brought in that movement. Like, if you want to like talk, I think about I might know who what you're talking about because yeah. I think I think a a ton of people had prints of them. Yeah, let me back in the day. UPA was the studio. I'm trying to think of like a cartoon that they did. Let me pull up an image. Oh, so okay. You can I show. was thinking like flowers and stuff like that. Uh, UPA animation. Huh. Oh, I see. There's there's a. Uh, they give audio hints through. Uh, so like. The old, like, Mr. Magoo shows, like, from the mm. 1960s. Like, they were kind of the people that started a lot of that really flat mm, I see, I art see, I style. See. I see. Um, and really kind of brought in that movement for animation and really started showing, like, it could be more, like, less detailed. Mostly of it was because they did a lot of stuff for television. Yeah. So, you know, you had to be like, well, we don't have time to create these crazy budgets. And that kind of goes back to my talk of, like, when you have limitations, sometimes it brings out great creativity. Yeah. Oh, um, I can't get down there. And sometimes when you have no limitations, <laughs> you, you, you get just big mouth. Rely on shit. Yeah, you get big mouth, or you get other uh, bad. I thought one of my students was watching Big Mouth for a moment. I just wanted to say, "Is like, why are you watching that?" And then it turned out to be Total Drama Island. I was like, "That's okay. You can watch <laughs> <Jeez>. that. <laughs> That's good." Big Mouth, though, f- f- find something. Find a better animation to watch. <laughs> find find something with better artistic. Rep- Big Mouth's art style pisses me off. It's just so bad. I hate it. It like, ugh. It, it's it's weird because, huh? I didn't like home movies, and I know that's a different. I liked home movies. I didn't like that so much. Um, and when I saw Bob's Burgers, I didn't want to like it. But the more I've watched it, the more I've loved it, and I do still. I kind of like its art style. It's not great, but it's also it's refined in a way. Like mm-hmm. it's almost. I don't want to mind. I'm trying to find uh, the words. Uh, yeah, well, how are you going to do it? I'm trying to find ways to not insult it because I don't think it's insulting. <laughs> Unlike Big Mouth. It kind of feels like... Ooh. Ooh like a nebula. I was going to say, that's called a nebula, right? Yeah. It feels almost like a child's drawing is like energy with Bob's yeah. Burgers. Do like I where it's just kind of just unafraid of what guy? it is. It's simplistic, but it's also super like refined. And also, just the writing of Bob's Burgers. Oh, jeez. God, it's wholesome. God, it just feels good to watch that oh, yeah. show. That show is, is writing is really awesome. I love uh, it. Thank I love you, how, John like, Benjamin. Thank you all to everybody that's <laughs> yeah, on that team. Yeah, he helps make it too. But there's a lot of there's a lot of yeah. Thank you, writers. Goodness there's so much goodness, and yet a weird sexual energy to it too. Yes, but it's a good one. <laughs> I think they're good. they're just showing that it's okay to be sexual and yeah, and not be it's like just part of life. Yeah. I just love how Bob's like oh. <laughs> okay. yeah. All right, Tina, you, uh, yeah, you go get those boys. <laughs> <laughs> His delivery is so great. Her, that her obsession with zombies and stuff. Her obsession with zombies and boys. And it's just like, oh, God, I love you, Tina. <laughs> I think one year, I think, I'm pretty sure I got my brother a Luis mug. Luis is awesome, too. Luis is great. I love too. her, uh, I love her actress, uh, voice actress. Katie, Sh- Katie Schultz. Schultz? Katie Schultz. Katie Schultz. Let me, let me, can't remember. Not that she needs a shout out, but no, no, no. Um, but yeah, no, I like just so people know who yeah. we're talking about. 
Let's see. Katie Schultz. Okay, I think Louise I see where I gotta go now. Belcher. Belcher. I can spell Belcher, but I, I can't think spell I see. easier words. Not Larry no, Schultz. No, I don't. I don't see. Hmm. I don't know how to. Oh, God, I can't spell that either. Okay, I'm just Louise? gonna look. No, I spelled Luis right. I just didn't spell Christian Shaw right at all. Oh, yeah. Christian Shaw. Yeah, she's great. She's hilarious. She's cool. 41? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. You saw yeah. a picture of her again, and you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> she looks good for 41, though. No, she's she's uh, she sounds super young. Yeah. Because of her high-pitched voice. She's freaking hilarious. <laughs> I just picture I just picture Louise in my head now. Except Louise has voiced this character. God, that would give it an entirely different tone. Oh god, give me a wallpaper of that. Is this a boss or something? I think you can let go. I, I wasn't I'm not doing anything. Oh like okay. it takes control from me when it does that stuff. Huh. Okay. Who ye? Um Do I yeah, sing up here just... too? Yeah. Yeah. I can color some stuff I think you can around. jump on those blocks too now and make I your way up. I think so. It's only that top section I on each one of them. I world. Ooh. I don't know anything about it, but I love it. It's calming. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, are we missing one? We're missing two. Is this... We're missing two. I guess we gotta go look to the right. I guess so. Into the abyss. Into it. We. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, zoom out for me. That helps. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I guess I could just still do it from here. Yeah, I just gotta go to these other sections. Mm -hmm. Extend. Nice. Photosynthesis. <gasps> Photosynthesis. <laughs> That's Spongebob. <laughs> yeah, fucking Spongebob. I didn't even know what I was referencing at the time. I was like, I know I'm referencing something. Oh, what is that? That's a secret one. Secretly. Oh, I, Jesus. Almost all my references just end up with Spongebob. <laughs> Spongebob. It's uh, it's me and my younger brother's favorite <laughs> show to reference. It's If it's not a regular show reference, it's a Spongebob reference. I, I have like tiered with my brothers. Emperor's New Groove is from my oldest brother. Ah. Uh -huh. Below that, my younger brother, it's regular show references. And then below that is my youngest brother, it's just Spongebob. We, <laughs> we figured it out, boys. We did it. Can I sing at the tippy top of the water? I can't sing at the tippy top of the water. And there's also ones that like cross pollinate. Like if I do a good burger quote, my younger brothers will get it. <clears throat> That's an underrated masterpiece. I, uh, I vaguely remember it, but... Kurt Burger is so stupid. I love it. You're referencing specifically the movie? Or? Yeah, the movie. Because it was a show, too, right? Yeah, specifically the movie. The yeah. movie's great. It's got Sinbad in it, Keenan and Kel. It's a great, it's a great little comedy. <laughs> Do you have it on, like, tape or something? Uh, it's on Netflix. Oh, is it? Yeah. Dang. My brother's had it on VHS. I'm sure they still, one of them still has the VHS I copy. I don't know where that fuck it's asking me to go. I think once you go up there. I can't. Can and I have up gone there. up there before. Are you sure? Have we gone to the left? The left is back to the hub. Hmm. And I can't sing we in the air. Get that. I can't sing in the air to get it. So you need to grab those. Yeah, but those these don't get me anywhere. Because there's just a straight up wall right here. That's and it. I can't sing in the air. Can I have to be you... on the ground. I gotta use these to get up here. And then you... they're gone. Okay. So... Oh, is that something down there? Can you smash that thing? Mm. No, and it's not giving me any vibrations or anything. There's that right there. I just don't know. Still puzzling. Like, cause we oh, didn't have access two. to. We, yeah, well, we didn't have access to this. Can you smash that vase? Uh, no. I. I that one right there in the middle. Uh, let's see. No, it's just sitting there. This is to get to a secret area to get to right here, but I don't understand what it wants me to do right here. I don't know either. You want to puzzle it out? Uh... Next time? Yeah. 
Excuse me. We'll see you guys later. Peep pop poop. <laughs> More this serenity. one gets me over to this side, but I don't. I don't know what to do. I'm, uh, hmm. And there's no like booster fish to get to do a jump. <laughs> oh, you yawned like four episodes ago, and it finally got me. Dang it. Um, oh, that counts as a wall. You can't just grab them either, can you? You have no, to. You have to do it from their position. 